We at the mansion here with my man Roger Cross. How we doing, boss? I'm doing great. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I got through. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nightlife. Oh no. All Your right. Life? All right. Anyways. So how you been lately? What's going on with you? I've been great. Just like living, loving, working, that sort of thing. You know, day there so still did well. Doing a thing on L Word that's airing right now, and just keeping busy, man. All right. Let's talk about L Word. L Word's a hot one on the block right now. Let's yeah, talk about that. How was that? Oh man, it was the craziest. Were you the only dude on set? <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. It, it was one of the craziest characters I've ever done, and the first people saw that first episode I did last week, and a lot of people were going, "That was you," and I'm like, "Yeah, that was me." I, I dress a little differently <laughs> in it and stuff. So, so yes, I, I I step out of my comfort zone on this one, but it's cool. All right, it's cool. It's and cool. is it uh is it a pretty you know eclectic cast? It's very eclectic cast. It I don't think it gets much more eclectic and diverse than this. And no, there's no broke back, but you know I'm just <laughs> in case you were curious. I know that's the next question he was going to ask. But, but it was, yeah, yeah, he's a crazy character and I have a blast with it, man. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's next for you in 09? 09, oh my God, you know what? What we had planned due to this economy got scrapped for the next two months, but we're, you know, going to fill the gap. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We don't, I could tell you some things right now, but it's not concrete, so I don't want to do that. Also, oh, good. We, we take anything over here. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. That's what it is, right? Okay. Don't want to mess it. But no, we got some good things coming. You'll see, you'll see the new year. There's a couple of big things. I might be even stepping in the producing side of things. So. That's what's up, my man. Stuff going on. All right. How hyped are you to have Barack in the house now, doing his thing? You know, man. It's you know you know what's amazing. It, it's whether you I guess you know the black, white, whatever the heck he was. It's kind of like finally you have a person up there that you can feel proud to say. You know what? I'm in America. I live in America now. For a while that was lost. That pride in you know the rest of the world being envious of be you being in America. Yeah, yeah. Now the rest of the world can go. Oh. Wow, they've got a great leader. It's still the place. It's the place to be again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He renewed the faith in that, and also in government, because you know government's been really milking the people and taking out. They haven't. They've been. What did he say? They're having a hangover from the things that they've been doing, and we weren't invited to the party, but we're paying for it. I hear that. You know, which is a bad, which is not good. But you know, hopefully he'll kind of say, "Hey, all right, step up and pay some of your damn bills, banks." Do their thing. Yeah. Let's talk about autism right quick. Autism, yeah. excuse autism. me, autism. Let's talk about that right quick. It's a very, yeah, it's hard one to say after a while. I don't know. No, autism, let's talk about that. Yeah. Serious topic, raising awareness tonight. Yes. Where you stand, my man? You know, that's a thing. And I mean, autism, it's funny, it's so stigmatized in a lot of ways. And especially when it's children. My, my biggest thing is like kids suffering, period, and having to deal with being different it's already bad enough to be different in any other way plus you're autistic and whatever some people say you know every time I think about autistic I think rain man kind of thing whatever what they don't see is the real trauma that goes on behind the scenes the everyday person that has to deal with it the tantrums the kids might pull and things like that and everything they have to deal with on a regular basis and I think it's a, you know good for people to be aware of it don't stigmatize it and help more people deal with it so do to create awareness for a topic like this if they can't get into a hot party at the Playboy like us. Yeah, what can they do, you know? You, just like everything else in this world right now, the great thing is the internet. Go on the internet, <laughs> read up. I'm for real. You know what I'm saying? It's, before you had to go somewhere else and get all that, now it's all right there. You know, so go read up on it and see if you would like to get involved. See if it's something that touches your heart and, you know, appeals to you and go from there. All right. I hear some bunnies calling your name, so I'm going to get you inside. All right. Can we get that drop right quick? Let them know they're watching Nightlife TV. Stay the name. Roger Cross, you're watching Nightlife TV. Peace out.